Hey people, Zod Knight Productions here. Now, as you can tell from the title, this is going to be talking about my new favorite superhero, Black Panther. Now, before I even get into anything like that, I cannot stress enough, he became my superhero before I even saw him in the movie, and I'm going to go over why, but uh, I think I started really uh, getting attached to him in maybe January, but I didn't make a video on it, but I cannot stress this enough. Um, I was saw like an origins video on him on YouTube and I started getting interesting. I did a crap load of research on him. I watched the mini series. I've read the comics. Some of the comics I don't have with me since they're from the libraries, but I'll put pictures of them right now. And, most importantly, I got a subscription to him. So yeah, not just from the movies. If um, I had only seen them in the movies, I wouldn't have said he was my favorite superhero. I would have done research and then said that, but still, that's not the case. I, uh, granted, I was looking forward to him and he was freaking awesome in the movie and he was one of my favorites in the movie, but I had already, he was already, my, he was my favorite walking into the movie and he was my favorite walking out of the movie. So now that that's out of the way, um, we'll talk about why I like him. Um, first off, let's go over his costume. His costume is pretty cool. I mean, like, that's pretty awesome, you got to admit. And in the movie, almost dropped it. In the movie, they did a really good job uh, translating that on screen. He looked freaking awesome. He had one of the best costumes in the movie. But uh, yeah, so his costume, a huge fan of that. Plus the fact that it's actually made of vibranium. It's not just a. Uh, like, you know, like cloth costume he puts on, it actually serves a purpose. Now on to his origin, I really like the character's origin, if you don't know his origin pretty much, um, the Black Panther, he isn't just, it's, isn't just a one person thing, it, uh, is passed down from generation to tra generation, pretty much, uh, Black Panther, who is really Mr. T'Challa, um, his father T'Chanka was the Black Panther before him, and T'Chanka's father before that, and everything like that, so, it's passed down from generation to generation, but, um, so obviously after T'Chaka dies in the, um, movie, which is a different death in the book, which I'll talk about later, um, T'Challa becomes the new Black Panther. Now, um, a lot of you might be thinking, so he's just, you know, kind of like Batman. No, he actually does have superpowers. So first off, let's talk about just T'Challa in general. He has a PhD in physics from Oxford, so he's described in the comics as the eighth smartest person in Marvel Comics. And, um, so there's that. Also... Before he got any superpowers, he was in peak physical condition, alright? He was like Batman. Batman doesn't have any superpowers at this point, neither did T'Challa, but he's in peak physical condition, like... So then he has to eat this herb. Now this herb kind of enhances your abilities, like, um... It makes you more aware of things, like for instance, you know how, like, you when your eyes are closed, you can still, like, figure out where they are, or where your ears are. Um, that kind of, like thing with Black Panther that just elevates to like level 20 so like if he's about to jump off the building he knows how far he needs to jump and everything like that. Not only that but um it increases his smell and his senses. He's um kind of you know stronger, has is faster, more endurance kind of like Captain America in that way but even better. And not only that but he can also he also has the abilities of all the previous Black Panthers which goes back a long long time in Wakandan history like all of his ancestors of the Black Panther. Now let's talk, so those are all his powers. He has all the knowledge of everything like that. Now let's talk about Wakanda. Now Wakanda is a country in Africa, but when you think of Africa, you kind of think of a uh, lower, you know, third class, or not third class, what the hell. You think of a uh, third world, you know, situations. Wakanda is absolutely not that. It is the most, the most advanced civilization on Earth in the MCU. On Earth, not in space. But um, back in like, the 1800s when like, you know, dudes were coming over to try and colonize it, they had tech that could have like matched what Tony Stark has currently. That's how advanced they are. These people have the cure to cancer, all right? And the reason they don't share it with the Western world is because they think and they're right that we would use it for a weapon and we would do harm with it. So Wakanda is extremely, 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 extremely advanced in everything like that. 
So um, they also are extremely rich. The uh, the vibranium, they sit on a huge thing of vibranium, which is what, like I said, Captain America Shield's made out of, and what Black Panther's suit is made out of. And just to give you an idea of how rich they are, they sit on billions upon billions of dollars of oil, like literally right below them, but they don't touch it because they don't need to. That wouldn't like even make a difference, that's how rich they are. That's like in case all else fails, they can use that. But literally, like, Wakanda is extremely advanced, extremely rich, just kind of like a perfect civilization. And Black Panther's from there. Now, some differences in the movies and the comics are, uh, in the movie, you, um, his father is killed by Baron Zemo in an explosion. You're meant to think it's Winter Soldier, but you find out. I uh, should have said spoilers, but oh, well, I'll put that in the description. In the comics, however, his father dies when he's actually a little kid. Um, if you remember this guy in Age of Ultron, who's played by Andy Serkis, Ultron cuts his arm off. His name is Claw, and he was also a bit different in the comics. He's pretty much a guy trying to uh, take, um, destroy, you know, Wakanda and take all their vibranium. So in this battle, when he's trying to take Wakanda, he ends up killing T'Chanka, who is Black Panther's father. And at this point, Black Panther's still a little kid, and he ends up taking a gun and shooting Claw's hand off. And so they've held a grudge against them, each other ever since. And uh, Black Panther, since then, had been training his whole life to defeat him. In the comics, his first debut was actually in a Fantastic Four issue, where he comes in and he kicks all their asses, but then he's like, alright, I'm not gonna actually like, hurt you guys, I was just um, training, you know, to see if I could take on super-powered people. So that's his uh, debut in the comics, which is, like I said, a bit different from the movies, but whatever. Now, one myth I want to debunk right now is that Batman can be Black Panther. Absolute horseshit. There is this disgusting rumor, or not rumor, uh, whatchamacallit, um, misconception going around that, uh, Black, uh, that Batman can defeat anyone just because of Batman v Superman and everything like that. Absolutely not true. Black Pan um, Batman is still a man when it comes down to it. Pretty freaking incredible man, but he's a man. T'Challa isn't just a man. He's got powers. He's got a he's got a doctorate. He's a has literally a doctorate, a PhD. He has powers from thousands and thousands of previous not thousands, hundreds of previous Black Panthers. And you know he's got you know kind of Captain America's powers except on steroids. So that's pretty much it, what I wanted to talk about, Black Panther. Like I said, not just, you know, saying, oh, he's my favorite because of the movies, my favorite before the movies. Obviously, as you can tell, I've done my homework on him, I know what I'm talking about. So that's it. Tell me what you guys thought of him in the movie below, or if you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. That's pretty much it. Automat Productions, out.